every day. You know why I mop every day? The obvious, clean shop is a happy shop, but it lets me think about my day, the order of my work, and uh, it's how I start my day. Every single day, I mop the floor. Not only am I the lead technician, I'm the lead janitor. We'll even shake hands. Hey, love this guy. He's retiring. He is retiring. <laughs> right, now that Frank has delivered all this stuff from UPS, I have to put it away. So I'm the head floor cleaner, the head parts man, the head technician. Kind of have to do it all. It's just for the cameraman. I got Brennan doing that. So what I want to show you is a couple things. One, tins are loose. Screws are missing out of the fairing on the back side. Uh, one in the upper left hand corner. And then also the ABS sensor is on the wrong side. It should be on the other side. They have the wire coming crossing over the top of the fender. So whoever did this obviously didn't know what they were doing. And that's why you come to the motorcycle garage for our expertise. Whoever did this is a hack. So Brennan and I are working on a 2014 FLHX and what we discovered was they had the wheel, they had the ABS sensor sitting on the motorcycle on the right side, which is the opposite side, it should be on the left. So what they did was just flip the wheel around, put the bearing on the right side because they had mounted the tire wrong, so the tire was the correct rotation. And I want to show you the difference. When you go to install this, the left side is the primary side. And if you look at the, our, uh, dial indicator, you know, it's about eh, three quarters of an inch in depth. If you flip to the other side, you're going to see there's more depth to where the Baron would ride. So what do we got there? Almost an inch and a half total. So what you want to do is we're going to have to dismount the tire, install the ABS Baron correctly first, and then we install the right side Baron. Now the wheel will be centered correctly with the correct spacing and the ABS sensor will be on the correct life uh, primary side sitting on the motorcycle. Dismounting the tire, Mr. Pongarazza. Only done probably many, many thousands of these. Flipping up on me. Oh, there it goes. So I just want to show you the ABS Baron. Uh, you have to install it the correct way. You want this goldish looking flange. So, some Barons it's kind of a greenish color facing out. There's also another way to identify the blue or on some models it's red. Uh, and there's also a line that faces in towards the wheel. This is the shallow side, the left side. This gets pressed in all the way till the bottom's out. Then we flip the wheel over, put the spacer in, and the opposite uh, wheel bearing, which is not an encoded bearing, and then the spacers on the wheel will be correctly so that the wheel will be in alignment in the front forks where it should be. And that's it.
four of the fairing screws were missing. I'm going to put in new fairing screws. We're going to torque them to the right spec using this very expensive torquing tool. One. I've already cycled the ABS. I also want to point out you'll get a form like this. All your specs, everything we did in the service, I sign it, date it, I keep a copy for you, and I give you a copy. So a lot of the shops say they're doing the work, we actually do the work. And here's a copy of the information of everything that we did. All right, all that works. We're good to go. Just wanted to show you what was involved just in this uh, 95,000 mile service for this bike. Obviously new air filter, had to pull the inner primary, the inner primary drain plug was stripped. We put a time cert in that so we, we machined that in. New clutch hub, obviously it was broken. This was jammed underneath the chain adjuster which is completely worn so we put a new one of those. Um, lucky that wasn't on the opposite side and got jammed in the, between the gear and the chain. That could have been disastrous. New front wheel bearing, obviously the ABS bearings were in incorrectly. It was, the front bearing was on the opposite side. We explained that, plus the bearings worn. Um, here's the other side bearing. This is just a plain bearing. Uh, inner primary seal, uh, snap ring for the inner primary. Uh, what else do we have here? This is actually for the clutch hub. Um, exhaust clips, new five new sealing screws for the inner primary, new O-ring for the starter motor. Uh, replace the clutch hub nut, so primary gasket, there's some other parts over there too, but this is pretty much it. Um, so this was a full 95,000 mile service, plus we had to fix the issues that uh, it had. A lot of the front end uh, bolts were loose, obviously the wheel was installed incorrectly. Motorcycle Garage, we're here getting it done, this is what we do on a daily, so if you have a Harley, Indian, Victory, any American V-Twin, uh, Buell, uh, Big Dog, Big Bear, Swift, any American built motorcycle will work on it. Any of the metric stuff, we don't really bother with. The only metric I do is the Victories are somewhat metric. It's kind of a combo. Obviously, V rods, some of the newer bikes are even going metric, but uh, I mean more like Kawasaki, Yamaha, Honda. We just, not my forte, I don't, I don't bother with it. Will, I will do some triumphs, but that's, uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Watch you next time. All right, the 2014 Harley-Davidson FLHX is all done, full service, 95,000 mile service. Uh, new clutch hub, new primary chain adjuster, went through the whole bike, flushed all the dot four of the clutch, the, both brakes, um, fixed the ABS issue that we had up front, and uh, we're all squared away and it's ready to pick up. Kind of pan around here, let you check it out. for our next 5,000 miles. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time. Make sure you like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube. Appreciate the love. See you next time.